Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That's one of the nice hilly roads here in the Caledon County near um, Orangeville, where we belong um, to the Dufferin County. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share Acts 5 verse 9. It says, How could the two of you even think of conspiring to test the spirit of the Lord Jesus like this? The young man who buried your husband are just outside the door and they will carry you out too. Here's my poem. When you test God's spirit. When you try God's spirit, you will have a lot of difficulties. Do not ever conspire to test it. Some people died from doing it. Do not grieve the Holy Spirit unless you want to perish from it. Trust whatever God's word says. He faithfully keeps his promises. Here's my essay. In Acts 5, a certain man named Ananias, uh, who, with his wife, Sapphira, sold some property. He brought part of the money to the apostles, claiming it was the full amount. With his wife's consent, he kept the rest. Their conspiracy to test God's spirit was fatal. The property was theirs to sell or not to sell, as they wished, but after selling it, the money was also theirs to give away. They lied and said to the apostles, which cost them their lives. Peter the Apostle warned him that he shouldn't test God's spirit by lying. When we lie to others, we are actually lying to God and grieving his spirit. You may think that it seems so lethal that lies can kill, but it actually separates you from God, which is actually a spiritual death, which is a form of dying. Prayer. Lord, keep my tongue from lies. Reflection. Why should you not make light of lying for whatever reasons? Well, because God detests lying lips. He says that in his words and that he told us not to lie in Leviticus. So, if God tells us not to do it. Why wouldn't we? He created us in his image, and God is not a God, is not a lying God. He is a God of truth, a God of love. He does not lie. He does not need to lie because he knows everything. He sees everything. But in some somehow, when man fell, when the Adam and Eve first sinned. We became liars. It became our second nature to lie because of the shame that we felt after we committed the sin. So when we lie, it brings shame to us. So the more we lie, the more shame is in our body, is, is in, in us. And the more we feel ashamed, the more it separates us from being close to God. The more we separate ourselves from being close to God, the more doors we open for the enemy to infiltrate our hearts and make it hardened and so that God cannot get into our hearts anymore. So it's very, very, um, people think that everybody lies and that it's okay to lie. There is no, nothing in the Bible that says it's okay to lie. It doesn't say it's okay, it's a white lie. It doesn't say that. A lie is a lie. No matter how big, how small, how, you know, how petty it is, it's still a lie. So, like, even just for example, when somebody says, Hi, how are you? You start a conversation and you say, I'm fine, thank you. But then you're not really fine. So in a way, you're also lying because you're not being authentic and truthful about what um, what is happening you know so it's important that we are aware of the things that we lie about because sometimes when we lie it's usually mouthing out a lie that is whispered to us by the enemy 
So if we are constantly in the Word of God and we constantly seek Him first among everything else, I don't think we will ever allow a lie to come out of our lips. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have yourself a wonderful day. God loves you so much and try not to test God's spirit for he knows everything and you will be the one at the losing end if you do. God loves you.